Nice and Christmassy. Draw a little playground there. Okay. It looks like a small, uh, small uh, lion. It's really cute. Tiny. Yeah. So in the morning, there's not much going on. Practice just, the training. Uh, just get up, brush my teeth. Got a pitch for training after training. Training after, after training. training. No, it was mostly used when it's warm, and now it's too cold to be outside. <laughs> Cops in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's the good one. It will be more fun in the summer. <laughs> Throw a barbecue out there. Yeah, it's like a little bit out of the way. A little bit hidden. It's the, the only English one I've got, I think. Yeah. All my uh, other ones are in Sweden, in my uh, family song. What game was what game was that? The first game against Middle. I'm not sure. She good? Just some Christmas shopping. Uh -huh. And it was uh it was so big. Uh I walked so much and you know, it was <laughs> it was really it's a good place though for shopping. Leeds? Yeah. yeah. After the pregnancy, my wife wants to go to uh, like a skiing thing, you know, where you ski and yeah. stuff like that. But it's dangerous. Man. I know, did you see um, Manuel Neuer? Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I thought her um, into a pregnancy, is she? Uh, 20 weeks. Uh, we're expecting the baby. Uh, Mid-May, so I'm really hoping for automatic promotion. <laughs> <laughs> no playoffs, sure. Yeah, in, uh... that, that's why. That's why we. I'm really keen on winning. You telling uh, everyone else, right? Yeah, don't wanna. No playoffs. Uh, don't wanna get top six. Wanna get top two, man. Your first child. Yeah. Child. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> don't put that in. <laughs> Actually, you can put it, it's funny. Yeah, yeah it's my first child. Nah, it's, yeah, I'm very excited. We're both very excited. We don't know the feeling yet, but everyone we've spoken to, especially speaking, I've been speaking a lot to Johnny, and he says it's the best thing. It's like, it's chaos, but it's like chaos in a good way. Are you going to find out the gender? We already found out. We made a blood test. It's a boy. Uh, he's gonna be a football player, of course. He's gonna play throws. Yeah, of course. He's got... How old is he gonna be before you put him in the goal? Uh, one, maybe. <laughs> as soon as he starts walking. <laughs> nice end of town to live. Yeah, I, I like it where it's more quiet. I don't wanna be where it's busy. It's better for me and my nieces. But also, personally, I, I don't like living in the city centre. Mm -hmm. I prefer living more outside. You live near some of the other boys, or? Yeah, Elements close. And there's some couple other players as well. Usually drive with Elements in the morning. You left him today? Yeah. <laughs> left him for you. You got many people coming up. Sometimes, yeah. I've been to Meadow a few times. Sometimes they come up, sometimes. It's quiet. You like that or? No, I like it. I mean, it's it's nice. It's nice to see fans come and taking pictures and it shows you've done well in the pitch. In Sweden is a little bit different. How so? In Sweden, Swedish people don't uh, they don't come and uh, take picture pictures with you. People will be like, oh yeah, that's that's him, and then just keep on going with their life, daily life. In Bosnia, it's different though. Photos. Yeah. When did you come to Italy? First time? Yeah. Uh, I was 16 years old, 2016. Signed for Forest then. Um, played there for three, three years. Uh, until I was 19, went back to Malmo. I, mean, I grew up as a person and as a player there. And you liked England then? Yeah, I loved it. I don't know, I just feel like I do well in England. Not just as a player, but as a 
person. You feel settled and yeah. You were at um, Forest, is that like when you met Jack last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he made me like made me work hard first of all. He made me work really hard. And we I don't know, we always had uh, not always, but it was always strict on me. I don't know if it was especially on me. You know when you're young and people uh, scream at you like they want for your best. When you're young, you don't realize that. And, like it's you get angry. You know me. I can get uh, I can get angry quick. And, uh, and now you look back and you're like yeah. I look back and it was like I know the reason why. And I was taught how to defend that because when I came from Sweden, I didn't I didn't focus on defending mostly, I was just focusing on playing out from the back and stuff like that. Is that where that comes from then? Like, have you been doing that since you were a kid? Yeah, because also you got to know when to risk it and when to not. If you have if you have two strikers up front, 2v2 against their two centre backs, you put it there, it's a 2v2. But as soon as you stride out, you take like two or three out of, out of the game. Yeah, but it all depends on how the other teams press. It's like if, if they leave, uh, if they leave uh, two strikers up front to press three centre backs, you get out all the time. I think I think that that that's the most fun way when teams press like that. It gives it gives me a lot of space and time. One cause Swedish rapper. Swedish rapper. Yeah. yeah, I listen to a lot of Swedish. I listen to mostly Swedish. They got a big rap is, scene. Yeah. The the last few years it's it's, it's big. I don't know, it gets me going in the morning. <laughs> the thing is when I pick up Illiman, I, I I usually put my playlist on but sometimes I have to put uh, more international for him too. <laughs> but I, all, all he does in the morning is play Uno on his phone. <laughs> what about Bosnian music scene or something like Yeah, I listen to Bosnian also. But there I listen to more old music. Not so much rap. Right. So a little bit, yeah. But it's but only a few artists can do it good. They can put it on a changing room. Nah. <laughs> sometimes the thing is sometimes we have a speaker in the changing room, sometimes we don't. Yeah. When we do it's George playing house music. Just George. I think so, yeah. Get on it. I think he's the one playing house music. I'm not sure who it is, but I suspect it's him. How many languages do you speak? Bosnian, uh, speak Swedish, English of course. So once you know one, you can like figure out. Yeah, I tried to learn French, but it's <laughs> so hard. You can speak uh, basic yeah. conversation. Uh, took Spanish in uh, school, failed that. <laughs> but you can also have a basic conversation in Spanish. I mean, I wasn't really good in school. No. Because because of football or Yeah, and I went to a football school. Footballing school. You went to a football in school? Yeah, Malmo had a had a football school and I went there. But I was just focused on uh, football and having fun. Which is probably not the best thing but you do your football first and then like lessons yeah. whatever you could. Yeah. Football number one. Do you know next time you'll go back to Bosnia? Uh, Euro qualification. Yeah. I think our first game is against Iceland at home. It's going to be a big game then. I think we have uh, good chances of, really good chances of qualifying to the Euros. Yeah. And I think if, if there's a time to do it, it's now. We've got a lot of youngsters coming through as well. We have uh, a few people changing from their nationality to Bosnian. my car. It's, it's all the snow, man. I swear. Yeah. 
drink or drink of water. Yeah. Brilliant. So you just ruined my Christmas because this would be very good. And then final, the absolute turds. And I'd be like, I should have got it from work, shouldn't I? Brilliant. Cheers, mate. You've ruined my Christmas. Told me to get a joke ready, so no, no, I, I didn't. Up. He came to me and said no, no, uh, he wants to make, make a joke. So I come up with a Christmas right. one. I didn't come up with it. I searched it up. So, right. Right. so what does shit. what does Santa Claus say when he's walking backwards? I oh, know I messed it up. I think. I no, I just got it on my uh, thing. Uh, what goes oh oh oh? Yeah, yeah Santa Claus. <laughs> I knew I messed it up. <laughs> are, you, are you driving back to his place now? Or just driving around? Go back to his. Life like like in the now. Yeah. Are you gonna play some Rocket League? Yeah, would you? This is my Rocket League partner. I do carry yeah. him a little bit. If anyone wants to play two against two, yeah, we've got a, we're ten unbeaten now, aren't we? No, we played like twenty games. Um, when twenty wins. Un, yeah, unbeaten, and then we retired. We retired because he don't invite me anymore. He's not invited. I joined. He invited me, and then he don't invite me anymore. Mate, after twenty uh, wins in a row, I don't play anymore. I'm anyway, done. take care. Don't no stitch way. him up with questions. <laughs> oh, I never mate. Whether like this in Bosnia. Foggy. No, not really. Rarely gets foggy. Oh. It rains. Yeah. In the winter it gets cold, but um, there comes the uh, deep snow, yeah. which is fun. 
in England, I don't want snow. If I go to Bosnia or if I have like days off, yeah, I'd love snow. Yeah, me and Michael, we played uh, a game called Rocket League. It's like uh, football, but with cars. And uh, we played like 20 games, we were unbeaten, and then I chose to retire. After 20 wins in a row, you don't, you don't continue. Yeah, you finish at the top, man. He um, fancies himself in FIFA as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this year's FIFA is definitely much harder, but still the best. I think in the team I would be the best. It's not so interesting, but for people like my age, you know, maybe younger people, like I do, uh, I train, I go home, and I just like chill with the wife, and I play a lot of uh, PlayStation and computer. And the range of games, I swear, I play everything. I try every game until I find one I really like, then I spend so many hours on that until I get really good. And I, I think I do that uh, with everything in life, you know? I find something I like and I get really good at it until I lose interest. No football. Football will never lose interest, thankfully. Do you play any other sports? Nah. I don't like other sports, I just like football. Nothing. Nothing. I, I saw cricket. It was so boring. <laughs> If I was gonna choose another sport, I think I would choose like rugby or uh, what is it called in America? NFL. Yeah. yeah NFL. Yeah, I, pl I played some Madden NFL on PlayStation. It was yeah. fun because you can tackle. <laughs> there was a there was a ice hockey game like many years ago. You could just stop the game and have a scrap. <laughs> <laughs> you could fight in the game. That was fun. Did they get rid of that? that, that yeah. They, they, I don't know. I don't know if they do it anymore. That was the only reason I played the game. It's probably not allowed now. After training, we go like out with your missus anywhere? Or? Yeah, we usually go for food. Um, sometimes we go to Mezzo Hall. Yesterday we went to Leeds. Um, What's your favorite spot for food? Um, there's a Turkish rest restaurant in, um, I don't know what the road's called. Abidel Road? Abidel Road, yeah. It's called Maviruya. It's really good. It reminds me of like uh, home, yeah. both Sweden and Bosnia. It's like both. Yeah, because you get also the same food in Sweden. It's it's like you take a full platter, get all sorts of meat, beef, chicken, everything. I think I said it before. I'm a big. Uh, I love uh, red meat so much. Like, was it difficult when you first moved? Or? I mean, the first two months, she wasn't over here and uh, I was alone in a big house because I wanted a house for, for when she comes and I wanted to make a family, you know? And uh, at that time I was lonely. I was like alone, big house, and there were so many games, you know, championship. So it was very, very messy. And when she came, I got a bollock in front <laughs> because uh, she she's a type of uh, girl that loves likes it clean, you know. And me, after games and everything, I just throw my clothes. Yeah. But you settled like in the city and stuff pretty quick. Yeah, and uh, it's really nice because it's England because everyone speaks English. And it just helps so much. In France it was difficult because I don't know why, but in, in France French people don't speak English. Out of 10 people maybe two speak English. Over there the weather was so nice. It's complete opposite of this. Hey, it's Premier League next year. Yeah. Wanna, is that your like Yeah, your that's goal? that's the that's the main goal. Halfway and sitting top two with five points clear. What, what you thought of the championship? Is it what you expected it to be? Um, yeah, I mean, I did make my debut when I was 17, yeah. Newcastle away. I think the level, the level is alright, but I think it's too much, like, uh, too much of a difference. Mm. It's not, it's not even. But that, I would say the tempo is, is crazy fast, and you always need to be focused, and you always need to play in a high tempo which is exactly why I came. 
I've played I played a lot in a slower tempo. Uh, when I was in Malmo, we were always dominating. We had a lot of possession. We played. We just had possession, passing it to open up teams. When I was in Bordeaux, it was more like defending, but the opposition team they didn't attack so fast. So I've I've had that education in Malmo of. Uh, being in the possession team, and then when I was in Bordeaux, it was more defending. But at the same time, it wasn't high tempo. And here it's both, but high tempo. So, so I think that's the perfect mixture. You're well rounded now. Yeah, exactly. I did. It was exactly the type of uh, I don't know, experience I need. Who in particular have you like? Be good mates with, would you say? Probably Illiman. So I have to pick him up every day. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, uh, I like I like him. He's really nice. Uh, and we, we have that type uh, like uh, in training, like we go at each other. It's fun. It's good. What's he like playing against? Nah, he's tough. He's, not, he's like uh, he always dribbles. You know, you know he's gonna dribble, but you don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> You can just pull out a skill move you haven't seen for two years. I think we were unlucky at the start with injuries. We had so many injuries. But I think now it's looking bright. Everyone's coming back. Yeah, we had, we had that spell, didn't we, like, before the break? We had, like, 12, 13 players injured. We still managed to pick up points. Yeah. Though. That was when you got yourself as well, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, at first I got a knock against the first game uh, we had, uh, not the first game, uh, I think third game at home, Blackburn, got a knock on my thigh and I knew if I checked it out I would be out for a long time, so I didn't, I just played, played and uh, I thought it was going to get better, it didn't get better. Uh, Played with, I was taking, I was taking pills like painkillers and stuff like that just to play. And uh, against Preston, it felt even worse. So I uh, eventually took a scan, showed I had a grade two uh, tear on my uh, thigh, and uh, I was gone for like. Luckily, I was gone for only I missed two or three games, and then after that. A couple of games after, I get glandular fever, but I didn't know, so I played uh, played against Burnley with glandular fever, and I scored an assist. And then next day it got worse, but I still played against Rotherham, and I probably shouldn't have played when I look back, because I couldn't run, I had no energy, and uh, yeah, after that I missed Cardiff, and then I was back for the first game I think. So luckily with the glandular fever, I was uh, I only missed one game, and usually glandular fever can take like three months. It would take a long time to recover. You say you got quite lucky with it then, in terms of like how quickly. Yeah. Sort out. Yeah, exactly. Are you good now? Yeah, I'm good. Really good now. Feel very fit. Feel fitter now than start of the season. Middle of season. And now I feel the most fit because yeah. thankfully I don't have any knocks and I don't have any illness, thank you, uh, thankfully. Because you joined us in Portugal, didn't you? Yeah, July. I joined you one day after I married my wife. <laughs> but we had a small wedding. It was a more Islamic wedding. It was uh, my family, her family and we went to a mosque and we got married. And we went for food and stuff after, but it wasn't like a big celebration. Next day I had to travel to Portugal and uh, I had to leave her because she didn't have visa, she couldn't come. So yeah, that was stressful and I had to do all the paperwork and stuff like that with, with Sheffield United, with the wedding, everything. It was chaos, but at the same time, it was really fun, yeah. you know, you had a lot of good experiences at the same Exciting time. Exciting stuff going on. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So on, on your wedding day, do you know that you're going to Portugal the day after to sign for Sheffield United? Or you no, still... I didn't know. I was actually on the phone with Jack. 
I was talk to, talking to him about it. <laughs> and he said, oh, make sure she doesn't leave you at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I spoke to Heki in January. We had a meeting. I was actually looking forward to joining them in January and maybe helping them go to Premier League. But it didn't happen for some reason, I don't know why. So I joined, funny story, I, uh, last day of uh, the transfer window in uh, January. I was just going about my day. I, I, I didn't train with Malmo because I could have uh, I was expecting a move that day, so I was just in the gym, took a shower, called my barber, I'm like, I need a trim now because I might move. Go to my barber, I drop off my missus at the, uh, at the mall, go to the barber, get a call from my agent, he says, you're going to Bordeaux, uh, be ready in, uh, in one hour, uh, pack all your stuff, uh, we, I'm taking you to the airport. And I'm in the middle of getting a haircut. <laughs> and I told my barber, uh, finish off, but don't make me look like an idiot. <laughs> so, so I was stressing there, I had to go pick up my uh, missus, got home, packed everything really quick, drove to the airport, flew on the smallest plane. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I don't like flying because I don't have control over it. So I don't like flying. And that was the smallest plane I've, I've seen. And uh, the, the flight there was very bumpy, it was so much turbulence, it. so I couldn't really enjoy it. Then I land in Bordeaux, get a call from another club in France, also the top league. They say, stay, stay at the airport, we're sending a, a, fl a flight to pick you up. I'm like, no, I've already agreed to Bordeaux, I'm signing for Bordeaux. There was a whole month of... Uh, that they could have planned it, yeah. but they called me at the airport uh, one hour before I do my medical with Bordeaux. That's the thing with football. That's the beauty as well. You don't know what's gonna happen. So did you watch like uh, playoff games and stuff? Yeah. So you kind of knew what to expect from coming here at Bramall Lane. And... Yeah. And I know, I know, I know how fans, fans, uh, how most fans uh, in England are. You know, everyone gets behind the team, but also at the same time, when it doesn't go that well, it can get a little bit sticky, you know. Who did you go up for? When? Sorry? Who did you support when you were growing up? Uh, Malmo and uh, Manchester City. But City because of uh, Edin Dzeko. Yeah. But I grew to love Yaya Torre. Yeah. Amazing player. That, that guy could do everything. Alright, so after training, I normally come, either bring food or she makes food. Uh, sit down, eat, talk, maybe watch some TV show. Uh, chill, chill with cat. And uh, yeah, it's my little lion. Come. Come, uh, She loves balls. Future uh, football player. What is the ball? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, she's fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after, what I normally do is I go down here in the living room, turn on the big old PS5. You need a bigger TV. <laughs> <laughs> big TVs for big guys. <laughs> That's me for the day. Chill. Yeah. And then mostly I just play FIFA and Rocket League. Of course, in goal we have uh, Mendy. He's very good on FIFA. Probably one of the best uh, center backs ever. Maldini, Kyle Walker, former Chef U player, Big Van Dyke, Nuno Mendes. He's mostly there for chemistry reasons. I was going to say, why Nuno Mendes? Uh, need Mbappe on full chemistry. Midfield, we have Renato Sanchez. 
probably better on FIFA than real life, but also a really good player. Then my one of my favorite players ever, Yaya Torre. So good. Uh, worth uh, worth uh, every yeah, penny. One million three hundred and eighty-five. Yeah, thousand. worth every penny. So good. But is that just because you're a big Yaya Torre fan? Yeah, I don't know. I just love the way he played. On the wing we have Messi, of course. Striker Haaland just scores goals. Uh, Eusebio, not many people will know him probably. Packed him, yeah. Most people won't know him, but I didn't even know him, uh, know him because of FIFA, but big, big uh, legend. And then we have the main man, Mbappe. <sighs> Too fast. And on the bench, we have the super sub, Edin Dzeko. He's, 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 he's a very good uh, target man. You know, if you're losing 1-0 or something, you have to put a big guy up. You put, uh, you put him and he always scores. I'm not going to drop anyone because my FIFA card is not good. She doesn't, doesn't reflect real life. That's all good stats. A uh, decent pace. I mean, yeah, six foot five. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm six foot four, I think. So that's alright. In centimeters, I don't know I'm one nine three, and yeah. Seventy eight pace, decent. Seventy two sprint speed. Yes, yeah, I mean sprint speed. It could be eighty five if you're more realistic. Acceleration should be around seventy two. It's fine. Composure a little bit too low. Short pass, too low as well. Dribbling. Where's my? Where's the dribbling? 59, nah, should be like mid 70s. Standing tackle. Standing tackle, 68. Killed you. Yeah, I mean, 60. All, all I do is stand tackles. What? No, to um, be fair, I do slide a lot. 34 shooting. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, 34 shooting. <laughs> how, how do I have 26 finishing? 27 attacking position. 25 volleys. Surely this has to change like next year. <laughs> The big question, how much of this is from you playing and winning and how much is from you spending actual money on it? I think it's better I don't comment on this. <laughs> I think we, we leave it to, to yeah, we just leave it. A, you got a few million pound players in there. Yeah. A few million coins. I mean, it's an investment. It is an investment because I don't do much. I just come home after training and play. You could go out and spend it on all sorts, but... Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's better spending on this than spending on... The, I don't know what people are spending when they go out. All right, so you can see my uh, rank there. It's champion one, almost two, on 3v3s. Uh, I, don't play, I only play 2v2s with uh, McAtee. Oh, yeah, I was going to show my uh, stats. What is this? You can see the win percentage, 73%. So I'm a winner. From 316 games, I have 650 goals, 178 assists, which is very good for a Rocket League player. And 300 games, 98 MVPs. I don't want to say be like I don't want I don't want to be that guy, but I'd say I'm one of the best in the world on Rocket League. Best in the world. Yeah, I'd put myself in the top ten. If you just go by the stats, I mean. Is there any way to see like a global leaderboard? Yeah, you can. But so you can see they have fifty. So. They have fifty-two thousand wins. They they play. I don't know, I don't know. Thousands of hours. I've played eighteen hours on this PS Five. If you quit football tomorrow, when we're like, I'm going to be a professional Rocket League player. I mean, yeah. And you've you, like dedicated your life to. If it. I dedicate my life to, I would be. I don't have the time for it now to be a top ten player. I mean, I am top ten player as we're speaking, but I don't have the time to show it on esports and stuff like that. Do you think any of those top 10 players are thinking, if I had the time, I could be a, a top footballer? Nah, that's something you're born with, I think. I, I think, to be fair, a lot of people uh, like to crit criticize uh, football players and uh, say like, oh, I could have done better there. But no, we only concede because that guy didn't, mm -hmm. I, I, I did my job. Look, mm -hmm. if you look at the replay, I did my job. I pushed him off the ball. But that guy is sleeping, ah, Mr. Guardiola. Girandola. Where's Kat? Where's she? Where's she? I need to... She always hides. She loves hide and seek. 
which I'll show you in my gaming room. So we have some we have some stuff to uncover here. We can start off with the uh, porous hammer. With this one, I can get uh, lightning from the sky. If someone breaks into my house or something, I can just use that. You know, it's like hard. Uh, it's broken, but it still does the job. Then we got Harry Potter, and we got the dog protecting uh, a stone in the first Harry Potter movie. So yeah, I'm a little bit. I like Harry Potter a little bit. I have a poster here. Assassin's Creed, probably one of the first games I've ever played. We got me on FIFA. Really, really bad, bad card. Then this poster we have Call of Duty, a big, big Call of Duty player. We have my computer, we have a mat from my old club, Malmö, uh, my boyhood club. Then we got this. I don't know how to fix this, just know how to put this on. So if someone tries to break in again, I'll just put this on. Ah, it's so painful to put on. Put this on, take the hammer, and <laughs> he's attacked in Avengers house. <laughs> Yeah, we've got another uh, poster here, Deadpool, uh, I like Ryan Reynolds. He was happy with the... Uh, yeah, Tokyo. yeah. I'm, I'm happy we're playing against uh, Deadpool FC, no, I'm joking, Wrexham. Uh, here we got a uh, poster of Punisher, one of my favorite shows on Netflix, um, really good TV show, if no one's seen it, watch it, Punisher. And then here, we got the uh, king, we got Ibra, uh, king of Milan, with my cat. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. Fan. Yeah, mm. uh, he's uh, from where I'm from. He's got uh, Bosnian roots as well. You know, I think he's uh, half Bosnian, has half uh, Croatian. Yeah, he grew up where I grew up, and uh, no, he's, he's always been a big uh, role model in my life. Where where you grew up is he like considered like how highly in regard is he held? Nah, I think, he like I think I think I think he, if I think he. One example of this is uh, one time he posted uh, that he was in that area on Instagram, but he posted it after, so he didn't post it when he was there. And then I went to to try and find him, you know, take a picture or something. And when I went, I just saw everyone running around trying to find him. So he's, he's like, he's, a week ago. Yeah, he's, he's he's massive. He's massive. Not yeah. quite as big TV. Yeah, I've got a smaller TV here for a smaller room, of course, mm -hmm. but still pretty big. Um, another PlayStation, because all I do is almost play, and Which, like, I think cooler. my wife will kill me for that one day because I play too much. Which color? Which color remote? You so or, originally, originally this this is mine, and this is my wife. She has some games she likes as well sometimes, but she never plays, so just use them whichever one has the most battery. What games do you play on PC? Mostly Call of Duty. Yeah, p people I play with uh, tend to say like I have a wall hack and like aimbot and stuff like that, but it's just my hand. I'm just really good. You don't play Call of Duty on the PlayStation? Right? Nah, I used to play, but it was too easy, so I changed to computer. <laughs> <laughs> All of these things are like you claim to be like the best gamer in the world. <laughs> you know what? A, a training for life. We'll, do, we'll start with FIFA tournament. Yeah. Then we'll do Rocket League, then we'll do yeah. Call of Duty, and yeah. if you win all them three, then you can be like self-proclaimed game of the Yeah, I'm, I think we should, uh, in the club, we should have the first the FIFA tournament, then we should make a Call of Duty. I don't think people, a lot of people play Rocket League, so I think we should have the Call of Duty tournament, make like a, I don't know, you can, people can make squads, you can play like 2v2s and stuff like that, and uh, winner can call himself king. We'll do it, we'll get a crown. McAtee fancies himself. I think that's your only proper rival. Well, on Call of Duty? On games in general. Ah. Who else plays a lot? Does anyone? A lot of, most of them play a lot, mm -hmm. but they play Call of Duty mostly. Me, I'm more like uh, Bill general. Bill plays Call of Duty, doesn't he? Yeah. Reese? Reese. Uh, Rian plays Call of Duty. Uh, Bash plays Call of Duty. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I haven't played with him yet. Uh, I think Kieran plays also. Most uh, I think most of them play, but they just play Call of Duty. 
I'm just like, I play everything. Like, you ever tempted to go out and do stuff and you're like, actually? No, most of the days when I come home, I get tired from training and we have like a game almost every three days. But I think now the schedule is going to like uh, make it so it's like one game a week. So I'll be, I'll have more energy to do stuff. But I think I come home from training. I'm so tired. Uh, just chill, uh, eat with my wife. We watch movies together. We people watching might together. be like, oh, like you should go and do this, this, and this, and this. But as a footballer, if you were doing that, like rest is important, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you do you do get a lot a lot of time off as a football player, but at the same time, you don't have as much energy if you if you apply yourself properly. I mean, if you if you just go out, of course you will have energy. But if you train hard and you play hard then you won't have so much energy. And uh, I think there's a balance to have. There's a lifestyle. As a, f as a football player, you need to have a good lifestyle. And I think uh, that's why most player, football players play games. And I think it's probably a healthy lifestyle. That As long as you don't, you don't spend the whole day just playing. And, I, and, I, and I'm lucky I have my wife. So if I didn't have her, I would have played so much. Yeah. She'd tell you when to stop. Yeah. What's next? Yeah, cinema room, yeah. Oh, there you go. Ah, she's there. It's a Swedish spelling, you said. Swedish name. Yeah, so her name is Kat. Uh, it's, it's the easiest. Uh, sometimes I just put her here. And and she's like, she loves to be there. Uh, so her name is Kat, and uh, she, ah, uh, oh, she's got sharp nails. It's, it's, it's Swedish, it's like K-A-T-T. Uh, it's, it's simple, it's easy, and uh, I don't wanna say a long name every time I, I wanna call her to give her food or something like that, so we, I just call her Kat. You know how many people are gonna copy that now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can come down now. Such a good idea. Here, jump off. Wait, can you make a cool shot? When I'm just like... Wait, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna start from here. You can call me the Lion King. <laughs> She's very cute. <laughs> so, so this is what room? This is the cinema room. Um, obviously don't have a TV, have the projector. Come yeah, here. Put the fireplace on. Lay down. Ah, chill with my teddy bear, with my baby's heartbeat, and watch movies. And I think it's a great way to relax. Some time away from the PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> to rest your head a little bit. I do love watching uh, like mystery movies, like mind-blowing movies. You know, we, like, movies that make you think, like Shutter Island. Have you seen it? Yeah. Have you not? You have to watch that. You have, you, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's like, at the end of the movie, you're like, what? Is that true or is this true? Like, you don't know. You like mystery stuff. Mm. Have you seen um, Knives Out? Yeah, yeah I saw it. One. Yeah, the glass onion mm. thing. Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You like stuff with twists? Mm. And I like to watch, like, uh, stupid comedies as well. Yeah. What's the best TV series you watched? I think at the time, I, f I was... I loved uh, The Punisher the most on Netflix because I, I love uh, John Bernthal, I think his name is, the actor, he's, he's, he's so sick. He, and the way they made it, it's crazy. Probably Game of Thrones. Hmm? Yeah. It's, 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 I just don't like the ending, it's really bad. It, it just, it just didn't make sense. Everyone always says she, did, she didn't want to kill before and then she just rides on the dragon and kills everyone. Yeah, when he spoils you, just, 
you get it? Yeah, but it's like 10 years old. Okay, so <laughs> if you've not seen it already. Three, four years old. They have to put spoiler alert. <laughs> Henderson's relish. I haven't even tried it yet. It's a gift. Thank so you. You're going to have to... I'm going to open it, smell it first. If it smells good, I will try. If it smells bad... If it smells bad and you I'll try it a little bit. upset a lot of people. Yeah, but I have to tell the truth. I'm going to let it simmer for a little bit. It has a good smell. I think it goes well with some stuff, like maybe fries or something like that. But for the sake of trying, I'm going to try it with bread. It's a good choice. People have it on uh, Sunday dinners and stuff. You know, puddings it goes well with stew, that kind of thing. Then some people have it on ready salted crisps. On crisps? Mm. On crisps, you have that on crisps. Some people do. So the only it's like it's like put it's like buying crisps and putting mayo on on it. <laughs> the only place in the world you can get this is relish. So that's a special Sheffield you know, Night bottle. Shake the bottle. I have to shake it first. If you like it, then you can take it to Aussie and Sweden, and you can spread the word. Of yeah, I can I can sell it, make profits. <laughs> I think we should be a little bit That's generous. Quite a lot. Yeah, I need to, I need to fully oh, taste it, gosh. but I need to fully taste it. Is it strong? It's strong. Is it? Yeah. It's nice. I mean, I wouldn't eat it with crisps. No. I would probably eat it with. I, I don't know, what do you eat it with? I didn't say that was a normal thing to do, I said some people do that. <laughs> uh, like stew and um, Sunday dinners and roasts. And I like it. It's good. I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Good. It tastes like something I've already tasted before. People say it's like um, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't say either. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I was just, you, you, talk, you say that to me like I know what that is. <laughs> like that one. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. Yeah, but it's like better than anything. And you can only get it in Sheffield, so there you go. When you have Thank you very much. a stew or anything like that, now you've probably been introduced to Sheffield. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, see you guys soon. Cheers.